replace these doors, take the hinges off, take the door down. All right, door is down in the workshop now. And you see I labeled exactly where this one was located. So that way I know this one was the office door. The other one will be the library door. So once I get the knob taken off, I can literally lay this on top of the new slab door and make sure all the hinges will be marked perfectly and everything fits it right. And the reason for the labeling is when you have more than one room, you want to make sure they all they match. You don't want to you know, get one cut specifically for one room and then put it in the wrong room and it doesn't line up right. That's why labeling just to make it easier. All right, knob is off, knob is off. I got all the parts laying here. So now I can, here I got a blank slab of a door that I can match up to this door and make sure everything matches right. And this is why I like lining these up. All right, so I got them clamped in. So this top edge and the front edge where the door handle is gonna be are lined up. And you can see how much of a difference there is in the doors. So just that little bit of a lip is gonna make it so the one door won't close. And then when we get down to this end, you can see there's actually a noticeable difference in size. So you can see the amount of overhang and the amount off the bottom. So what I'll end up doing is since this is only a small amount here, I'll probably just use, you know, a file or a sand or something just to take it down. I might actually use, you know, the handheld planer there, take that down first a little bit and then just finish it off with sanding. And then the bottom, I'm going to have to, get a line scored across the underside and get that whole thing cut so it's nice and flush straight across. smoothed even with the template that's underneath i gotta get to the, the bottom edge yet but you can see how much of a mess this actually makes by planing but, all right now i'm gonna plane the bottom all right this one you can see is a little different now i got just the line done across the bottom as i just took the other door and was there used my pencil and just scored a line now we'll just take it down even with that line if it's being shown or not how clearly with this line but i'm taking it that was just to rough get it to real close to it and now we're going to go ahead and get the sander that i have 120 grit paper on just to smooth everything off
All right, something I forgot to do is when I had it all lined up, I forgot to mark for the uh, hinge locations. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this line back up and then scrub my lines for that. All right, now we're just gonna use a good old fashioned square and a pencil. We'll just line it up to where we need for the line to be. Score our line. And do the, do the same thing for both. And then what I'll do is the same. I'll actually separate the doors. Well, I'll show you here in a second. Let me do the other one. All right, now we're gonna use the square again. And I'll show you here what I was gonna mention before. Is I wanna bring this up even with that edge. So now it's there, lock that down, and I can literally scribe and mark my line. So I'm the same distance on both. That's the easiest way. So now I got the same distance on both and I'll go ahead and mark the other end too. My reason I'm really going through and marking these so precisely is I'm still reusing the jam that's already up there. So I need to make sure that the hinge locations are gonna line up with what I already have existing up there. If this was a pre-hung that already had the frame on it, I wouldn't, you wouldn't have to worry about any of this. All right, and when you're chiseling these out, you don't wanna start right on your line. You wanna actually start inside of that just a touch can't get a good angle here but you want to start on just the inside so that way you can always scrape a little bit more off but when you do your initial hammering down you don't want it to splinter and then you'll always see that line and you're going to be upset almost forgot it's also important get one of the hinges that you had before so you can put it on there and you can line up your lines make sure everything's lined up right and if you look closely you can kind of see where the old door used to be so you can verify and make sure that your lines are all lined up and you can get that little round over. There is different styles of these. So just make sure you're using the same one when you go to the store to replace them. If you're replacing, make sure you get the same, same type. That way they'll line up perfect. Okay, now you can kind of see how the edges are real rough on this. So now what you want to do is get your fine chisel and come along and clean this up to make sure it fits nice and snug. And one thing I've learned over the years, the easiest way I found to do doors, is literally just put it on the floor and just sit on it. And that'll hold it so it doesn't move around and you can actually move it if you need to adjust to see a little bit better. Just realize the one thing I forgot to show, the way that I get nice clean edges like that is I actually use a utility knife. So that's why I said you just get close with your chisels and then you can come back and get real precise with your utility knife. This side is actually good. I've actually test fit this a couple times now, and this is in there nice and flush with it. So you can see the little pencil lines and stuff. Those you can get an eraser if you really want to, or just paint over them. Now, if you're getting it close and it seems like it just doesn't want to line up just right, get yourself a little rubber mallet and tap it, and then you'll be able to see what little line on the wood needs to get chiseled out. So if you have a little piece somewhere down here, it'll show you because that part will be dented in. All right, now I'm gonna do the next one. Number two is done. Nice and flush, same as the other side. All right, this door's done, ready for paint. I'm gonna take it back upstairs and get ready to put it back on. And just make sure when you're doing these, put your bracket on, draw a little mark so that way you know where to drill your pilot holes. So always pre-drill so you don't split it. All right, just got one screw in each hinge just to help hold it. So one on each side, top and bottom. And now, push it shut, just to check our gap. It actually looks pretty good all up and down the door. And the back side is nice and even, which is good. So then I just took the other one and used it as a template. So this one's done. This is gonna be covered with the trim that goes across here. So I'm not worried about doing anything with that drywall back behind. All right, now the next door. One down. Now it's time for the second one. 
this door is not as easily as the other one is. This one I can already see. I'm going to be cutting a little bit off on each end. But the whole thing is I got to make sure to get these lined up straight. So I'm going to use the same trick I used before by using this to line up the holes. And you can see how much it's a little off. So I'm going to go ahead and get these adjusted to everything perfectly even. All right, you can see now it's all lined up even there. And I lined up even with the holes as I come across. And even these are lined up. So the striker plates will match. The lock set holes lined up perfectly. And thankfully doing that, this end is perfectly flat. And now I just gotta take off this bottom edge. And once again, this side has a little bit to take off, but not nearly as much as the other one. So that tells you that this door was not as bad off as the other one was. So but now I'm gonna remember to mark my things and I'll be back when I'm almost done with it. All right, pass with the planer is done. Now I'll do the sander. All right, in case I hadn't said it or mentioned it, in the, you can see I am making a heck of a mess down here with doing all this, but you know, I'll just keep sweeping it out of the way so that way you're not, you know, I'm not tracking it all over the place. You know, I, everything will get cleaned up after I'm done, but for now, just push it off to the side till it's all done. All right, I got these marked, sanded. So now I'm gonna show you a different way to clean these out. All right, this one we're gonna end up using a little plunge router on. So what I got here is you can see I got the two doors side by side. So this is just that way I have something for the router to go on, but you can see it's not quite level. So all you have to do is literally put this on here and then pretty much just tap these until they're flat on the front and the back to get yourself a nice flat surface. So I gotta do this one a little bit more. I've hit that down too far. All right, hopefully you can see, I got my markings here and I got my plunge router. This is basically where I can't touch anything right now. So what it does is it squeezes together and then when this comes down, then it can make contact. And I got this gauge set at the thickness I need. The easy way to set that is literally put it in there, push down so it just touches and then set your guide. So now I know I can jump over here and do this other one. the idea I need to actually move this so I can get in here and actually do it right but I got it started so this just has to get ground out and it'll match that one I'll be back as soon as I get that done all right you can see I got most of it out I got a little bit here in the middle I got to clean up and then these edges I'm gonna hit that with the same way I did the other one using a utility knife and then just a small chisel to clean the rest of it out this side's all done I got the circles marked that actually fits in there nice and snug. So now we're just going to go do the same to the other end. This is just so you can see, you can do the same thing with just a single door. How I had the two side by side. It's actually easier if you only have the one door to do it, then you don't have to worry about the other door being in your way. So we're going to go ahead and get this one done up just like the other side. All right, this one's in nice and snug. And I got the markings for them, so I'll pre drill it when I get up there with it. All right, now this door is ready to go back upstairs. All right, both doors are done. Those hinges are temporary. And just like the knobs, there is none. So those will get put on at a later date. But that, I'm not going to worry about putting on here. Uh, if you want, I'll make another video with those.